Okay, everyone. Um, so, in a few minutes, we'll be heading inside Stamford Bridge. It's been Chelsea's home stadium since 1905. Okay, a very historic stadium, must be said. However, the stadium is actually a little bit older than Chelsea. Okay, because it was actually built in 1877. Makes it one of the oldest running stadiums in England. Okay. Now, uh, in 1877, it was actually an athletics venue. It was home to the London Athletics Club. Okay? Now, um, Chelsea and athletics do have something in common. Last year, does anyone know who the fastest man in the world is? Usain Bolt. Usain Bolt, okay? And he's very proud to be the fastest man in the world because last year, he played in a match called Soccer Raid. And he played here at Stamford Bridge, and his shirt number was 9.58. Okay, in case you're wondering, that's the time he ran the uh, the 10, well, 100 meters in. I, I do about 10 meters in that time. That's why I got confused. But there we are. Uh, so you can see the uh, remnants of the older stadium as well. Uh, back then, you used to get a lot more people inside the stadium. The club record is actually 82,000 for when we played wow. Arsenal in 1935. So uh, things have changed since then. Of course, this is the current model. Very different, a lot more modern. Okay, The West Stand, which is the front of the stadium, looks very nice. Uh, it's not a surprise because it was only completed in the year 2000, so it's not been long. Okay. Now, um, when you played football when you were younger, has anyone played a game called Wembley? Yeah, a few of us, okay? It's when you have one goalkeeper and a set of players trying to achieve a goal in that net. Now, uh, Stamford Bridge was the Wembley of English football in the year 1920, okay? Because in 1920, 1921, and 1922, the FA Cup final was held right here at Stamford Bridge. Okay? It was in 1923 that Wembley Stadium opened, okay? and that eventually became the home of English football. Before that, quite rightly, Chelsea can claim to be the home of English football just before it. Okay? We we'll carry on going around, of course, lots of history around Stamford Bridge. Uh, our trophy collection is just having a slight upgrade at the moment. Um, obviously, as I've mentioned, uh, I, I might not have mentioned, during the pandemic, Chelsea has done a lot of great things. But it's also been a time where we can start redeveloping slightly some areas of the stadium. Uh, we did have plans for a new stadium here at Stamford Bridge. Sadly, of course, uh, that, that plan is on hold at the moment. So. Uh, Whilst it's on hold, we've been able to make some changes uh, in and around the place. And the museum has had some really nice upgrades recently. The trophies are being upgraded. Uh, we've got a new Frank Lampard boot collection. Frank Lampard, of course, the one of the greatest players in our history as well. Okay. I'll just quickly point out before we carry on, did everyone notice the big figure over there? No. Yeah? This was Chelsea's first goalkeeper and first captain. Okay? Um, is anyone surprised he was the goalkeeper? He was a, he was a huge figure. He was six foot four, six foot five. Uh, apparently weighed about 24 stone as well. 
Okay, incredible. Now, uh, it reminds me of when I was in primary school when the biggest kid would end up in goal, but <laughs> I don't know if that happened where you were as well. But, uh, he was a very, very uh, big figure. In fact, rumours have it, Chelsea used to place two small children behind the goal just to make him look even bigger. Uh, so if that was possible, <laughs> incredible. All right, guys, follow me. We'll carry on going around. So uh, here, I won't stop you for too long just to maintain social distancing, but you'll see our wonderful Premier League collection. Only Manchester United have achieved more Premier League wins than Chelsea Football Club. And uh, we have the London Walk Up here as well. This is an original trophy. Uh, and it's one Chelsea are quite proud of, of course. It's when, the, when football stopped in England uh, during the World War. <laughs> Across here you'll see sections about pre-season. Uh, sadly there's no real pre-season this year, so Chelsea haven't had the opportunity to travel around the world and play in some historic venues. But we have played in places like Japan and Indonesia and of course the United States in the past as well. Yeah, we will. We'll just give everyone a chance to take some photos and then we'll carry on. So guys, if you are happy, we'll carry on. Anyone want to, you want to grab some more photos? That's alright, take your time guys. Some fantastic bits of memorabilia from uh, famous Premier League victories, FA Cup victories, and then a uh, very important section about the academy. The academy very important to Chelsea, especially now. Okay, everyone. Um, since we're here, this is a model for a new Stamford Bridge. Okay. Um, sadly, at the moment, as I say, it is on hold. Okay. But the project was incredible because we are surrounded here at Chelsea by train tracks. So behind the North Stand, the Matthew Harding Stand, we actually have the district line train tracks. And right behind the East Stand, you'll be able to uh, work out, just under the, the actual stand, there's actually train tracks running across as well. That's for the overground. So we're actually surrounded. And as part of the new build, the plan is to build over the train tracks to increase the foot footprint of Stamford Bridge. And that would have actually helped increase the capacity from the current 41,000 up to around 60,000. Also, I heard someone mention we might go up 
Did someone mention that? We're actually not allowed to go up because in London there are some restricted views and one of those restricted views is from Richmond Mound to St Paul's Cathedral. Okay, and uh, the person who uh, put these restrictions in place or amongst that time was King Henry VIII and apparently you're not supposed to upset him. So we're not going to be doing that. <laughs> so um, that's one of the restrictions. So we're actually going to dig four meters down just to help the stadium come out from underneath a bit more and be able to increase the uh, capacity. But unfortunately, as I say, the project was supposed to cost around 500 million. Now it's reported to cost closer to a billion pound. And with the pound's value shrinking as well, it's a very uncertain time. The project is on hold at the moment. Now, a lot of people ask, why not just uh, increase the current capacity? Now, the difficulty, of course, is all of you will have come in through the Fulham Road today. Okay, because there is no other entrance to Stamford Bridge. There's only one way in and one way out. That's through the Fulham Road. Okay, we've got different gates across there, but only one real exit. Now, uh, part of the fire regulations means you have to be able to evacuate a certain amount of people in a certain amount of time. So we unfortunately won't be able to accommodate for that situation. So that's why uh, that plan is currently on hold as well. Uh, part of the planning with the new stadium was to have a new walkway leading all the way across to Fulham Broadway. Now, uh, around 70 to 80% of people on a match day arrive on public transport here at Stamford Bridge, uh, which also leads to the question when the government allows fans back into the stadium. We're talking about 30% of the stadium being full, but it will very much depend on the stadium, the logistics around it, and of course, in London, you've got to consider TFL as well. If you're going to bombard the TFL network too heavily that's also a problem so it remains to be seen uh, what Boris Johnson and the government decide eventually uh, we're talking about October at the moment at the earliest um, but also I did mention once or twice of course we've spoken about Frank Lampard's goal scoring prowess and uh, you mentioned a better goal scorer than Gerard Scold you can name any midfielder in the world but if you look along here his assist record he is one of the highest uh, achievers of assists in Premier League history, higher than the likes of Paul Scholes and uh, others. So um, not just an incredible goal scorer, also an incredible creator on the football pitch and perhaps not appreciated for just how creative he was as a midfielder during his time here at Chelsea. Uh, Wall added us for most of his tenure and scored some incredible goals throughout as well. Okay. So guys, uh, hopefully uh, you've taken some photos in the museum. I'm going to start leading you up to the stadium now. Okay. sadly is the away dressing room is out of bounds but it's not just out of bounds for tours it's out of bounds for the opposition as well because when we played Man City here post lockdown and Wolverhampton Wanderers and the next team here Liverpool anyone heard of Liverpool no that's fine I'm on the team from up north Liverpool will be getting changed at the health club and spa here okay it's a very it's a really nice facility it's about 300 pounds to join up and 200 pound a month uh, if you're looking for a membership there. Uh, so it's better than what they normally get in the away dressing room. Uh, so in a way, they're quite lucky. I'll show you their entrance as well. Uh, they've been using a slightly different entrance to enter the stadium. Uh, so uh, things have changed a little bit due to the social distancing, but the away team are probably happy about it. 
Uh, to be fair, we played four games post lockdown here. Chelsea won all four, so uh, it might be a recipe for the future. That. <laughs> Come inside, guys. Who hasn't been to Stamford Bridge before? behind the scenes and also as I've mentioned the uh, stadium redevelopment because it's on hold they've actually started doing room they're making one or two changes in there at the moment they were actually planning to do quite a big redevelopment of the dressing rooms this summer but then the pandemic happened and uh, the post-season was only a few weeks because the players are back in training full training uh, now they're on international break but when they get back we've got a game very soon against Brighton Hope Albion okay uh, now Realistically, once we get up these stairs, you'll be able to see the wonderful Stamford Bridge. The pitch is looking perfect, ready for the new season. The groundspeople have been working very hard. One thing that they did do during the lockdown is actually reseed all of the grass, so uh, it is in as good a condition as it can possibly be. Although, a little secret, Frank Lampard brought the players here last Friday, so there's one or two marks. I think N'Golo Kante was rushing into a few tackles last week, so uh, a few marks on the pitch. All right. You're going to head up first? Go, go, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I'll follow him, yeah. I was going to get him, we're going to come and get a ticket. It's very difficult. The next best thing, just take tickets for us. There's no guarantee when you're going to get a ticket. Yeah, that's another really hard thing. Really enjoy this experience. Sometimes more than coming to a game. Just being able to go behind the scenes. Okay, everyone, obviously uh, there's a lot of people on the tour, so uh, take some photos and then if you want to start following me down as well. Thank you. 